In this video, we're going to use Coding with Chrome and JavaScript to draw a uh, cool picture in our stage. So we're going to start off and we're going to deal with some randomness. So to get a random number, we can actually just use math.random. And if I do console.log math.random, what you'll see is just a random number. And what that's going to be, if I refresh this a few times, it's just going to be a random number between 0 and 1. But we actually want a random integer for this exercise. So in order to get that, I'm going to build a new function. And I'm going to call that function get random int. And I'm going to just pass in a size. And we're going to make this an integer. So if I say return math.random times size, what do I actually get there? We'll go ahead and test it. Every time I call that, I'll not get the integer that I'm expecting. I'll get some decimal number. So we actually need to use JavaScript's parseInt function that's going to take that decimal number and give me an integer back. Now that I have this random integer, I can actually randomize the coordinates that I'm going to draw something on the screen. Now, I might, you know, I might also want to have random colors as well. So I can actually do that. And uh, to build up a color in JavaScript or HTML, I typically use something called a hex code. And that's going to be a six-digit hexadecimal number that represents a red value, a green value, and a blue value. So I can actually build a random color function. But before I do that, I want to get a random hex byte. So I'm going to go ahead and create a function called get random hex byte. This is going to be a hexadecimal number between 0 and 255. Uh, and I'll go ahead and say, we'll declare a new variable. We'll call it, we'll get the integer here. Ran, get random int 256. That's going to give me a number between 0 and 255. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and after we have that, we will convert that to a hexadecimal string. Now if I just return n here and I go ahead and test that console log uh, get random hex byte, you'll see here it's going to give me 4c, it's going to give me 13, but eventually it's going to give me a one digit number. might take a couple of tries, but there you go. You can see da. Hexadecimal is just a number system that goes from 0 to 9 and then a, b, c, d, e, and f representing 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So it's a little bit different, but you can see here sometimes I'm going to get one digit, and I actually need six digits. So I'm going to change my function so that when it returns this random hex byte, it's going to make sure that there's a zero if the di if it's only one digit long. So I can do that pretty easily. If n dot length is equal to one, then n is equal to zero plus n. So that's going to give us a string that's either going to be a two-digit two hexadecimal number or a one-digit hexadecimal number with a zero to the left of it. And if we test that again, console log get random hex byte. You can see here, even if I do this a few times, I'm going to get the zero in the front. So now I can build my function for random colors. So I'm going to call this get random color. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to return a pound sign. It's actually called an octothorpe. Uh, get random hex byte plus get random hex byte plus get random hex byte. Now I have a random color. And if I just want to make sure that that works, we'll go ahead and do draw circle. We'll say put it somewhere close to the center here. Uh, we'll give it a radius of or 50 and we will get random color. Now you can see here every time I refresh this it's going to pop up in a new color. Isn't that pretty? So one color is nice but it's really cool if we can actually get a lot of colors. Now fortunately computers are really good at doing something over and over again uh, and one of the ways we can do that is with a for loop. So if I use for var i equals 0, I'm saying we're starting from 0, We'll go all the way up to, say, 2,000, and we will add 1 to i each iteration of our loop. And we're going to draw a circle here, and the circle is not going to be at 200, 250, because right now all we're doing is drawing lots and lots of circles over top of each other. We're going to get a random number, and uh, we're going to get a random number here, say, between 0 and 1,000. We'll get another random number here, get random, oh, sorry, get random int in between 0 and 1000 and we'll go ahead we'll say get random in 
and we don't want these to be too small so let's say 30 plus 20 and what that will give us is now a random number between 0 and 30 but then add 20 to it so none of our circles will be too small and then you can see with a random color we get this nice kind of crazy but nice interesting arrangement of circles and every time we hit the refresh button we're going to get that different view so we get this kind of cool abstract art here just by typing a little bit of JavaScript code. So if you experiment with the shapes and you experiment with randomness, you can actually draw some pretty interesting pictures. Thanks for watching and make sure you practice your coding.